Question number five. Order. Doctor. Order. There is considerable interjection from both sides. Be grateful if it could cease. Shane Reedy, question number five. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Science and Innovation, what is the government doing to help New Zealand companies be part of the global space economy? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, New Zealand is rapidly building a more diversified high-tech economy, and one of the companies at the very leading edge of technology is our own homegrown startup, Rocket Lab. Rocket Lab is planning its first launches later this year from the east coast of the North Island. The government is therefore putting in place a new regulatory environment to enable safe, secure and responsible space launches from New Zealand. We're also signing a technology safeguards agreement with the US to allow for the use of US rocket technology by Rocket Lab in New Zealand. The space economy is becoming immensely important to the wider world and is growing and changing rapidly. These measures will ensure New Zealand is well placed to take advantage of that growth. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Shane Rolletti. Why is it important New Zealand put a regulatory regime in place to assist the growth of the industry here? Uh, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, New Zealand has a number of unique advantages when it comes to rocket launches and space activities, including a highly skilled workforce, a safe and secure environment, relatively quiet skies, surrounded by oceans, and that has attracted the likes of NASA and Google here to launch high-altitude balloons, for example. We also have a number of companies and innovators at the cutting edge of the industry, like Peter Beck from Rocket Lab, and others looking to break in, like two of the uh, shortlisted Regional Research Institute candidates, the Centre for Space Science Technology and Earth Vantage. Putting in place a high-quality regulatory framework to permit launches is an important part of our involvement in this growing industry, and is yet another way in which we can encourage the development of an innovative, dynamic and diverse economy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Dr Shane Oriti. What benefits can we expect from New Zealand involvement in the global space economy? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Quite a number, Mr Speaker. Rocket Lab, for example, currently employs around 100 highly paid engineers, which they expect will grow to several hundred over the next few years. All of their research and development is conducted in New Zealand and most of their manufacturing. They work closely with the University of Canterbury, and that collaboration has led to an advanced engineering course specialising in aerospace engineering. And with the Wairau District Council consenting up to 120 launches per year from the Mahia Peninsula, there's likely to be spin-off economic benefits for the East Coast region in terms of infrastructure and tourism opportunities. Supplementary question, Marama Fox. Thank you. Uh, to the Minister, will those uh, infrastructure and benefits to the East Coast include the revitalisation of the uh, wide war rail link to Gisborne, or Napier to Gisborne? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, uh, Mr Speaker, I safely assume for the member that they won't be uh, delivering, their, delivering their rocket technology by rail. Uh, the, um, the, the company plans to uh, transfer its technology by air and by road freight. Uh, and in terms of rail between Wairua and Hawke's Bay, uh, wider Hawke's Bay, the uh, interest in that form of transport unfortunately is very low, but there is still work continuing with the Hawke's Bay Regional Council in terms of whether they want to make an investment to uh, re-establish that link. Supplementary question, Madam Fox. Uh, thank you, Minister. And uh, can we ask then, will we see uh, extra infrastructure include things such as uh, broadband and uh, roading, uh, roading fixtures to ensure that they can access uh, the internet and have the infrastructure needed for Rocket Lab to be successful? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, for the member's benefit, I don't think that's being driven by Rocket Lab's presence, but certainly, as I have said to her previously, uh, the investment in uh, broadband infrastructure right along the East Coast is very significant and the commitment is there to do more as part of ensuring the development and diversification of the East Coast regional economy. Question number 